I am running over to Dollar Tree. I've got this idea for some muffin pan DIY hacks. Hey bestie, this is Lisa. Welcome or welcome back. For this muffin pan hack, I'm gonna take this little muffin pan from the Dollar Tree, remove the tags. I'm gonna use my heat tool to get rid of the glue and then a little like scraper tool I happen to have from Cricut to get off the glue. And then I'm gonna use my Waverly Antique Wax and I'm just gonna use a chippy brush, which is just an old kind of stiff brush. And I'm gonna dab it all over on the front, the back, the inside and the sides of the inside I do switch to a little stippling brush to do the sides because that chippy brush was just a little bit too wide you could use anything you have and this is what it's gonna look like and you could make it as dark and dirty as you want I'm gonna use this apple barrel chestnut color paint I got at Walmart and I'm gonna go kind of randomly around the edges and the in and sides and give it a rusted look now I've got this wreath that I got at a thrift store for $5 and it's got that cute bow on it which I thought I would leave as a layer and it did have some spring florals which I took off. Now I've got this bow, it came in a grab bag from Michaels and it's just so pretty and what I'm going to do is just take the little tie that it comes with and just tie it on around the wreath and then pull out the little plastic inserts and then I'm going to make some dovetails on the bottom and just cut off some of that ribbon and I'll save the excess for another project at another time. I don't need this one to have a super long ribbon. Isn't that pretty? I've got this cute little tag. I got it at Dollar General. I'm pretty sure it was a dollar. And I'm just going to tie it around parts of this wreath. And you know, there's sticks, so it's really easy. It's like a grapevine wreath. And you can just tie it around, and I'll tuck the knot behind. And then I'm going to hot glue it down to a branch that's right there, and that's perfect. This is kind of going to be like a baking theme wreath. I've got some pipe cleaners. I'm going to use green just to keep it a little festive and I'm going to put one on each end of the muffin tin and I'm just going to pull it through the back and then twist it around a stem, you know, a thicker stem and then twist it, cut it off and tuck it in. I'll do the same thing to the one underneath and that's going to attach that muffin pan really well. got some cute berry picks that I cut off from larger picks from Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby I'm not sure anything that was in my stash and I stuck the stems through and then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to tuck them in or wrap them around parts of the grapevine and that will hold them in place you could hot glue it if you want I've also got a couple of pine cones I'm going to do the same thing I'm just going to put them in and you can secure them with hot glue if you want or if it feels like it's really secure just go ahead and leave them now I've got one with leaves on it that I'm going to put in the center of that bow which is just going to be such a wonderful finishing touch you could add more to this you could leave it just as it is and I liked it I didn't want to make it too busy but I think it's adorable you have to let me know what you think so fun This Dollar Tree muffin pan hack. I'm gonna remove the sticker like I always do, get rid of the glue and all that stuff. This time I'm gonna turn it over and we're gonna use the back. We're gonna take the lacquer color chalk paint by Waverly. And people have asked me where do you get the, the Waverly chalk paint? Well, wait, Walmart always sold it. Now I heard some Walmarts still do and some don't, but then they have another brand. I think you could use the other brand. I've heard good things about it. I just still have all this Waverly paint. I'm gonna paint everything but the part that sticks up. So like the little muffin areas that are sticking straight out. Once I do two coats of the lacquer, I'm going to take my Rust-Oleum chalked linen white paint and I'm going to paint all of those little parts that stick up where you on the other side where you would put muffins. So it's going to take a couple coats of this one as well, but it does end up covering the red where I, you know, painted over a little bit on the edge there. It's okay if it's not exact. It really is just such a cutesy little thing. It'll be fine. And I do go in and touch it up later. Once I have two coats or so there and it dries, I'm going to take a pencil and I'm looking at a picture that I found online of all different faces of snowmen. Just so you know, I'm not an artist. I would not be able to do this very well without looking at a picture. So if I can do it, I'm pretty sure you can do it. So just go find snowman faces that you like. And I decided to all different ones. And some of them are silly. Some of them are cutesy. You know, just for fun. It's almost like snowman emoji faces, you know. So I thought that would be kind of fun. Once I've drawn them all out, that helps me to know what I'm doing if I draw it out first with pencil. Then I'm going to take my super fine art brush, which is almost like the tip of a pencil, and some black chalkboard paint that I got at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to very carefully go over all of the lines, except for the noses, that I did for the snowman. So the eyes and the mouth, and if there are any eyebrows I need to do. 
So I'll do the same thing on all of the six snowman faces. There they are, they're starting to look so cute. Then I'm gonna take the pumpkin chalk paint from Waverly, you can use any orange you want, and I'm just gonna do the same thing with the noses and just make sure, and I didn't make them a little bigger, some of them I made too small with the pencil, but at least I've got a form there to go with. So I just go around them, make them a little bigger and cover the pencil lines. By the second coat, the pencil lines are all covered and there you go, they are so adorable. Now I'm gonna take that white paint again and that fine brush and I'm gonna make some snowflakes on the middle sections, like between the bigger section between the little muffin tins. And just gonna make like a snowflake, very basic. Snowflakes can be so complicated, I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna do another one there and then I'm gonna to do two little ones on the sides there. And then I'm gonna take that snowflake ribbon from Dollar Tree and just put it through, tie a knot at the top, tuck the knot underneath, and that is it. This one is so adorable. This would be so cute in the kitchen. Again, you could add this one to a wreath. I think there's lots of possibilities. Let me know what you think. For this muffin pan pack, I've already taken off the sticker. I'm going to use the Fern Chalk Paint by Waverly. I'm going to paint the entire front of this and around the edges. And I'm just going to use a regular brush. It takes about two coats to get this nicely covered. And of course, it'll dry between coats. And then I will come back and show it to you once it is all done. And now I'm gonna take my Krylon clear glaze and I'm gonna take it outside and spray it and let that dry. I found a bunch of cute little things to fill in the little muffin areas with. And I just wanted to make it cute. It's almost like a shadow box hanging kind of a thing. You could put it on a wreath, you could hang it on a wall. So I've just got some cute little things in my stash. You know, you're probably like me, right? You save all these little things. Oh, I'll use that someday. I want that. <laughs> I know you do. I know you do. You've got to do the same thing that I do. Anyway, I went looking through all those little baggies and bins where I have them. And look, it was worth it. See, you know what? It's okay to keep those things if you're going to use them. That's all that matters. Anyway, I'm going to take this gorgeous snowflake ribbon I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to cut a piece, tie a knot at the top, and then tuck it under around the back, and that'll be my hanger. And then I'm going to take my hot glue and those first two little mini ornaments. I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue them right down in the first little muffin tin. Then this was something that I had that broke, the bottom broke off, and so it was fit perfectly now, so I'm gonna put that in there. Got a little pine cone, and the this broke off of that, it was a little cardinal, and I think cardinals just really fit with Christmas. So I'm gonna hot glue that to the top of the pine cone, and then hot glue the pine cone right in there. And then I've got these three bottle brush trees, and one of them doesn't have the base, which is perfect. I'll hide it behind the other two, so it'll look like there's another tree you know, a little bit further back in the distance. And these all just stay perfectly with a generous amount of hot glue. I've got a little foam scatter snowflake, and then a candy cane, an actual real one. And then this is the base on that North Pole thing that also fell off, and that worked out perfectly as a nice background. And this is a foam sticker that has glitter on the front of a reindeer, and that just stuck perfectly. I've got this snow spray. I got it at Dollar Tree, so I was gonna spray it all over. A little messy, but I like the idea that it looks kind of random because snow wouldn't fall like exactly the same everywhere. So then I'm going to take a little brush and just take some of the snow off of the little items. When I take it outside, I'm going to spray a clear glaze over all of it. And I'm just going to add a little pre-made bow that I got at Walmart and just add that to the very top of the hanger. And that's it. I think this one is so cute. Got kind of a, just such a wintry, Christmassy vibe. And I love that. I think it'd be fun. You could put all kinds of different things in there. Just no limit to this one. this Dollar Tree muffin pan hack. I'm going to take the hazelnut chalk paint by Waverly and I'm going to paint the entire thing. It's going to be front and back. It takes about two coats. Then I'm going to take a marker from the Dollar Tree and in one of the little tins I'm going to write the word cookies. And then I'm going to take some chalk pen from Dollar Tree, the white one, and I'm going to write the word milk. Then I'm going to take an orange marker, which didn't work out too well, and I wrote the word carrots. We will fix that shortly. And then with a black marker, it's going to say in another one, letters to Santa. I wanted to do my own take on the little Santa trays for Christmas Eve, and I thought this would be so cute to use the muffin pans. 
So I'm going to use my paint and I'm going to go over the word carrots and then I'm going to put down some Mod Podge in the two open ones that don't have anything. And I'm going to use a couple window clings that I got at Walmart. Walmart had some really cute window clings and they were only 98 cents. So just add a snowflake in there, a little bit of holly. Then I thought I should probably put Mod Podge over each of those little center areas. So I went over milk with the chalk pen, no problem. I went over carrots, which was painted, no problem. Then I decided to go over the word cookies. Now keep in mind that was with a regular marker and look, oh my gosh, you guys, it just smeared everywhere. Oh, anyway, so I kept going with it as you can see, cause I thought, well, that'll just be the background for that one. And of course I did not touch the other one once that happened. So I'm gonna take some red paint and I'm just gonna write the word cookies with my little mini paintbrush there and that'll be that. And then later I'll put another coat of the Mod Podge right over it. So it was an easy fix, but because the color was nice, it didn't look too bad, but I definitely didn't wanna do that with the black one. Can you imagine? Not happening. Anyway, now I'm gonna take a couple of picks that I got online from Amazon and you can find these in my Amazon store. I have all kinds of greenery and flowers and stuff. They have some really nice ones and oftentimes the price is very, very good. You just have to shop around. Anyway, that link will be down in my description box if you're interested. I'm gonna hot glue these little ones to the top like a swag and then the two larger ones, I'm gonna do the same thing right on the bottom. Next, I cut off some berries off um, some picks that I had also and just put them right in the center of the swag. And I think it's so, so cute. I love it. I'm going to take this outside and spray the whole thing with the clear glaze by Krylon. That did not make the black letters run. Thank you, Jesus, for that. <laughs> anyway, that's one way to fix up a mess if you have one. I hope you like it. And I thought it was super fun to do this. That's it for today. You'll have to let me know which one was your favorite. Why don't you click on this video if you want some more inspiration. And if you do, I'll see you there. You are truly a blessing to me. Bye.